Welcome to The Drumline, where I'll break down different genres and drum patterns and give you the basics of how to play these beats with style. This episode's all about rock drumming. Rock and roll is known for having a loud and forceful sound, and the drums are a huge part of making that happen. Unlike jazz or funk styles of drumming, rock drummers often played simple, repetitive, and well thought out beats, and this was due to the fact that rock was not about subtlety. It was about being in your face, and the most effective way to do that was through simplicity. Don't get me wrong though, a lot of rock drumming can be technically and musically challenging, so don't think that it's easy just because it's simple. Unlike other genres, rock drummers had to use huge sounding drums to keep up with the overdriven guitars and crunching bass, so they used bigger drums. Check out John Bonham, legendary drummer for Led Zeppelin, and how big his drums were compared to Max Roach's, a famous jazz drummer from the 50s and 60s. Another reason for huge drums? Where rock was played. It wasn't played in small nightclubs or parlors. It was played outdoors or in huge arenas. So drummers needed a big sound and big drums so that they could be heard in these big spaces. So you've got big drums, now what do you play on them to get a big sound like a rock drummer? Well for starters, play the kick drum on beats one and three, and the snare on beats two and four. That's called a backbeat. And while it's not unique to rock drumming, it forms the backbone of the style. Now take a look at this grid. It shows where the kick and the snare are played. The circles on the bottom are the kick, and the ones on the top are the snare. And you can see how the kick lines up with beats one and three, and the snare lines up with beats two and four. Play the hi-hat on every beat, or even twice per beat in eighth notes, and open up the hi-hats just a little bit to get a washier sound. Those are the basics. Most rock drummers, however, rarely play this pattern exactly as I just showed you. They alter it slightly by either adding or subtracting the number of times they play the kick drum between snare hits. A more common backbeat pattern is kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, where the kick drum is played twice on beat three. Check out this grid that shows the kick drum being played twice on beat three. Check out how ACDC's drummer Phil Rudd changes the basic pattern just a little bit. Instead of playing the kick drum on beats 1 and 3, he's delaying the second kick drum hit half a beat and playing it right before beat 4. A simple alteration like that can be super effective. That's it for this episode of the Drumline Breakdown. Rock on, see you next time.